Hello everyone and welcome. Today we will get started on our back in reclining butterfly. So on your back, place the soles of your feet together and let your knees come apart. If you're feeling any resistance or tension in your hips and or low back, you can place a block or a rolled up blanket or towel underneath each knee. And just position your arms any way that you like. Take the first couple of breaths to check in with your body and check in with your headspace. If you have a personal intention for your practice, I invite you to bring that into your mind's eye now. From here, slowly draw your knees together and walk your feet to hips distance apart. Arms by your sides with your palms facing down. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky for bridge pose. And starting at your shoulder blades, exhale, slowly roll your spine down one vertebra at a time. When your hips touch down, inhale, lift your hips back up for bridge. And then exhale, slowly drip your spine down. Keep moving through these rolling bridges, articulating your spine and evening out your inhales and exhales. Next time your hips touch the floor, draw your right knee to your chest, and with your right hand, either hold the back of your thigh or hold the outside edge of your right foot for half happy baby. Foot facing up and knee pointing towards your right shoulder. Option one, straighten your left leg forward. Option two, keep your left knee bent. But whichever leg variation you have, firm your left leg down towards the floor. If your left leg is straight, press your left heel forward as if a wall was in front of your mat and anchor your left thigh bone down into the floor. Release your right leg and re-bend your left, resetting for bridge. Press down from hands and feet. Inhale, lift your hips up and pause. Reach your back pelvis towards your knees and lift your hip bones to lengthen your thighs. Exhale, slowly drip your spine down. Draw your left knee to your chest for half happy baby. Hold behind your thigh or hold your left foot. Right leg straight or bent. Use the anchoring of your right leg to level your pelvis and create resistance against your left inner thigh. If your right leg is straight, notice if you feel any sensation or tension on your front thigh or hip crease. Release your legs and set up for one more bridge. Inhale, press down and rise up. Scrub your heels towards your shoulders and press your shins forward. Notice any extra tension or sensation in your glutes and or thighs. Exhale, slowly lower down. Windshield wiper your knees to rebound. And then draw your knees to your chest and make your way up to tabletop hands and knees. From tabletop, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, scoot your left knee back behind your hips, and pat up your left knee if needed. Cup your fingertips on the floor or prop your hands on blocks, and move your spine through a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, lift your chest and tail. Exhale, round your back upwards. Notice how the movement of your spine may influence the sensation in your hips. After your next round, plant your left palm and reach your right arm up. As you twist, allow your right thigh to glide away from you and press your left thigh forward. Both hands down, walk your hands to the left and frame the front left corner of your mat. Lift your chest forward past your arms and press your left shin bone down into the floor. As your left glute firms, hug your thigh in and pull your right hip back. Stay here for a few breaths or crawl your arms one or two feet forward and keep your chest lifted. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Inhale, step back to table. 
Exhale, tuck your toes and send your hips back for downward facing dog. In your first down dog, move any way that feels good. Pedal your legs, sway or twist your hips and torso. Lower your knees back down and step your left foot to the outside of your left hand for lizard pose. Scoot your right knee back a little or more. Fingers cupped or hands on blocks, move through cat-cow with your spine. Find a flat back, more or less, and right palm plants and twist to the left. As you lean back, reach your chest forward. Hands down and walk them to the right front corner of your mat. Pull your heart through your arms and anchor your right shin to firm your glute. Add on by walking your arms forward, but keep your chest reaching forward as you draw your left hip back. Hands walk back to center and tuck your back toes, look forward. And then exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Take a moment to hang a simple sway of your torso, maybe pedal your heels. Soft bending your knees, root into your feet, and slowly roll up to standing. Hands on your hips, keep your feet wide and parallel the pinky edges of your feet. Legs firm with a slight bend in your knees. Inhale, puff up your chest, and with a flat back, lean out halfway. Exhale, press to stand and lightly squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lean out and poke your hips back. Exhale, press to stand up. Inhale, lean out and pause. Anchor into your heels and reach your sitting bones back. Exhale, stand up. Scoot your feet to hips distance apart and stand tall in mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, half lift, hands to your shins or the floor. Exhale, step your right foot back and lower your right knee down. Again, pat up your knee with a blanket or towel. Option one, frame your left foot on the floor or blocks. Option two, hands to your hips and come up for crescent pose. Inhale, scoot your left foot forward an inch or two. Exhale, scrub your foot towards your back shin and glide your hips forward. Inhale, scoot your left foot another inch or two. Exhale, drag your foot towards your back shin and sink your hips. Inhale, stay or scoot another inch forward. Exhale, scissor your legs and lunge. Stay in your lunge variation or reach your arms up and goal post your elbows back. Exhale, hands down and step back to down dog. Passing through table is a great transition. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Knees can also be down. Hug your arms and reach your heels back. Exhale, knees can lower first, but lower yourself down to the floor. Hands under your shoulders and untuck your toes. Inhale, peel your chest forward, low cobra. And exhale, fold. Inhale, cobra, stand into your feet. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, hug your elbows and firm your thighs in. Exhale, bow. Press to tabletop pose on your inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot by your right thumb and lower your left knee. Hands stay down or hands to your hips and rise. Inhale, scoot your right foot forward an inch or two. Exhale, hug your inner legs and glide your hips forward. Inhale, scoot your foot another inch or two. Exhale, scissor your legs and lunge a little further. Inhale, stay or scoot up one more inch. Exhale, lunge, anchor through your back shin. Stay here or reach your arms up and goal post your arms. Exhale, hands down and step up to the front, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stand all the way up, inhale. 
Exhale, hands to your hips. Balance on your right leg and lift your left knee towards your chest any amount. Anchor into your right heel and firm your buttocks down. Set it down. Stand on your left leg and lift your right. Hug your inner thighs to find a similar scissor action like in your lunges. Set your foot down. Inhale, sit back and reach up, chair pose. Exhale, hands down and fold. Inhale, lift to lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your left foot back and lower your left knee down. Inhale, reach up, low crescent lunge. From your inner right ankle to your left inner shin, hug and scissor your legs. Exhale, goal post your arms. Hands frame your right foot, inhale. Exhale, right arm opens to a twist. Either keep pressing your back shin down or tuck your toes and straighten your back leg. Reach your left buttocks to your left heel. Hands down, step back to plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower your right knee and kickstand your right foot to the side. Pivot your left heel down and reach your left arm up, supported side plank. Reach through the pinky edge of your left foot as you lift your hip. Option to float your left leg and kick back. Passing through hands and knees, find supported side plank to the other side. Option to lift your top leg for quarter moon. Tabletop pose or plank on your inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step your left foot forward and lower your right knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, goal, post your arms. Hands down, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Option to straighten your right leg. As your left hip firms back, press your right thigh down towards the floor. Hands down and step up. Standing forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Chair pose on your inhale. Exhale, reach your left hand forward and reach your right arm back. Inhale, lengthen through your left side body. Exhale, rotate from your ribs as you pull your left hip back. Stay here for a couple more breaths or draw your hands to your heart and hook your left elbow to your right thigh. Inhale, untwist, hips stay low. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Stay here or move into prayer twist. Continue to expand and breathe into your right side ribs. Inhale, untwist and stand up. Maybe take a little back bend. And exhale, hands to your hips. Lift your right leg for one-legged balance. Interlace your hands over your right shin. As you press your shin into your hands, drive your left heel down and press your left hip forward. Maybe lean your upper body back a little bit. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, release your right leg and set it down. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left leg back and pivot your left heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. As you dig your left heel into the floor, pull your right thigh back and press your left thigh forward. Hands float down behind your low back, either interlace fingers or hook thumbs. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and draw your knuckles down. Exhale, either stay upright or fold on top or inside of your front leg for humble warrior. Release your neck as your shoulders slide towards your waist. Inhale, rise back up and straighten your front leg. Either keep your bind as is or release your hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lean forward half or quarter of the way down. Expand your chest forward as your sitting bones reach back. Inhale, release your hands to the floor, framing your front foot. Exhale, nose to your knee, and fold. 
Bend your front knee, plant your hands, and step back to down dog. Lower your knees to the floor for tabletop pose. Inhale, kick your right leg to the back wall. Exhale, bend your right knee and curl your heel towards your bum. Inhale, straighten your right leg and kick it back. Exhale, curl your right heel in. One more. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, curl your right heel. Inhale, straighten. And set it back down. Other side. Inhale, kick your left leg back. Exhale, draw your left heel towards your bum. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curl it in. One more. Inhale. Exhale, curl. Inhale, straighten your left leg. And exhale, set it down to the floor. Tuck your toes and inhale, lift your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to your hips and stand up. Lift your left knee toward your chest and hold onto your shin. Maybe lean your upper body back, but press your shin into your hands. And again, press your right thigh forward as you anchor your right heel down. One more inhale. Exhale, let your leg go. Inhale, upward salute. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart forward. Exhale, step your right leg back. Warrior one on your inhale. Exhale, anchor into your right leg as your hips glide forward. Hands float down, find your bind, and inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, stay up or fold into humble warrior. Hug your left thigh as your left heel drags back. Rise back up and straighten both legs. Keep your bind or hands to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lean forward half or quarter of the way down. Keep anchoring into your back leg and drive the inner arch of your front foot down. Inhale, hands frame your front foot and exhale, fold. Rebend your front knee and step back to down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower your right knee and scoot your right foot over. Left side stacks for supported side plank. Option two, lift your left leg for balancing quarter moon. Option three, bend your left knee and catch your left foot for chapasana variation. Keep kicking your foot into your hand and press your left hip forward in space. If you have the quad stretch, let it go. Pass through hands and knees and take supported side plank to the other side. Maybe you lift your right leg and kick back. Maybe you bend your right knee and catch your right foot. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go, and make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths in down dog, or maybe take a child's pose. If you'd like to rest a little longer, I invite you to hit the pause button. When you're ready, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and lower your left knee. Inhale, lift your right arm up and twist. Exhale, option one, stay here, pressing your left shin down and engaging your left glute. Option two, staying on your left knee, curl your left heel towards your bum. Option three, reach your right arm back and maybe catch your foot for the quad stretch. And like in balancing quarter moon with the quad stretch, Kick your foot into your hand as your left thigh presses forward. One more inhale. Exhale, let go if you're holding onto your foot and hands to the floor. Lift your left knee and step your left foot forward a pace or two. Spin your left heel down and straighten both legs. Hands on the floor or blocks. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, twist to the right, either right hand on your hip or right arm up. As you pull your right hip back, expand your chest away from your legs. Inhale, untwist, hands to your hips. Exhale, press down to stand and step up to the front of your mat. 
stay on your left leg and lift your right. Hold onto your right shin and either stay upright or lean back as your shin presses into your hands. Exhale, twist to the right, reaching your right arm back. Continue to press your shin into your left hand and anchor down into your left leg. One more inhale. Exhale, untwist and set your leg down. Inhale, reach up to the sky and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back to plank and lower all the way down. Arms down by your sides with your palms facing up. Roll your shoulders back and lift your chest and your legs. Reach through your toes and press downwards from your shins. Exhale, lower down. Option one, stay with your arms. Option two, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift everything up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, lower down. Hands by your ribs, tuck your toes, press up and back to downward facing dog. Last side, step your left foot to the outside edge of your mat for lizard lunge. Add the twist, maybe bend your back knee for the hamstring curl. Maybe you reach back and catch your foot for the quad stretch. Next exhale, release the quad stretch and untwist. Lift your back knee and step up a pace or two. Straighten both legs and flatten your back inhale. Exhale, twisting triangle to the left. Drive the instep of your front foot down like you're stepping on the gas. Every inhale, expand through your ribs. Every exhale, rotate from your ribs to twist. Untwist, hands to your hips, inhale. Exhale, stand up and step to the front of your mat. Lift your left leg up and hold onto your shin. Maybe lean back a little bit. Exhale, twist to the left, still holding onto your shin with your right hand. One more inhale. And exhale, untwist and feet together. In mountain pose, draw your hands to your heart. Take a moment to close your eyes and feel the internal landscape. Last sun salute, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to down dog, and if you have a vinyasa in your practice, I invite you to flow through. And then when you're ready, you'll lower your knees down to the floor for table. Bring your big toes to touch, take your knees out wide, and then send your hips towards your heels and lower your chest down. Either straighten your arms out in front of you, or you can rest your hands underneath your forehead. And if you'd like to feel more sensation, you can either take your knees wider than your yoga mat, or you can scoot your feet to be in line with your knees for frog pose. We'll be here for a few breaths. Take slow, easy breaths in and out through your nose. If you separated your feet for frog, go ahead and scoot your feet towards the center again. Slowly walk your knees back to the center, and then use your hands to press you up to tabletop pose. Take a couple of rounds of cat-cow once you're there.
Shift onto your hips and swing your legs around to the front, coming into a seat. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Slide your right foot on the inside of your left knee or thigh and let your right knee go out for half butterfly. If you have tight knees or a tight low back, you can place a rolled up blanket or towel underneath your left knee, or feel free to just take a soft bed in your left knee. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at your waist and fold forward over your left leg. You can hold anywhere along your left leg or you can just let your arms rest on the floor or maybe use blocks underneath your elbows. And you can either keep a flat back or you can let your back round and just let your head drop if that feels safe. And we'll be here for a few breaths. Slowly lift your head, elongate your spine, and raise yourself up. And then go ahead and switch legs, straighten your right leg forward, left foot on the inside of your right leg, and left knee out. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Maybe you have a soft bend in your right knee. Exhale, fold forward, and then you can let your back round or keep a flat back. Hands can hold onto your leg, or you can just let your arms rest. On your next inhale, slowly raise yourself up. Exhale, straighten out your legs and give your legs a little shimmy and shake. Our next pose will be an outer hip stretch and I'll give you a couple of options. Option one, you'll position your right shin parallel to the front of your mat and then you'll take your left leg out to the side and position your left shin parallel to the side of your mat. Either left knee can be up against your right heel or you can scoot it further away. And then you'll either fold forward in front of your right shin or you'll walk your torso slightly to the right and fold over your right thigh and knee. Option two, square or double pigeon. You'll cross your right shin in front of your left shin, making sure that your feet are in line with your knees. And then you'll fold forward from there or you can stack your right shin on top of your left shin and fold forward. And if there's a lot of space between your top knee and bottom foot, you can place a rolled up blanket or a block there. And if neither of these options work for you today, you can make your way to your back and take a reclining figure four. You'll cross your right ankle over your left knee and grab behind your left leg. So find a hip stretch that works for you. And then once you've found it, just allow yourself to settle in and breathe. If you're in any of the forward folds, slowly raise yourself up. If you went to your back for figure four, you'll uncross your legs and set your feet to the ground. And then moving to the other side, 
So for deer pose, you'll swing your left shin forward and then you'll swing your right shin out to the side. Either fold on top of your left shin forward or walk your torso slightly to the left and fold over your left thigh and knee. For square or double pigeon, you'll cross your left shin in front of your right shin or stack your left shin on top of your right shin and then fold forward. And then for figure four on your back, just cross your left ankle over your right knee and then grab behind your right thigh. If you're in deer, square, or double pigeon, slowly raise yourself up. And then straighten your legs out in front of you. Give them one more shimmy and shake. If you're on your back, uncross your legs, set your feet to the floor. And if you're seated, make your way to your back. Once you're there, draw your knees into your chest, giving yourself one last final hug. If you'd like to take a happy baby, grab the outside edges of your feet. Feel free to do that. Or maybe you want to lift your legs up to the sky and your arms up to the sky for waterfall. But as you're ready, you'll slowly make your way to your final pose of ease and stillness, Shavasana. Position your arms and legs any way that you'd like. And if you have props, feel free to use them any way that helps you find comfort and support. When you found your shape, Take a deep inhale through your nose. Sigh it out through your mouth. And just for the next few moments of your day, allow yourself to enjoy rest. As always, if you would like to stay a little bit longer, I invite you to hit the pause button and rest as long as you need. Otherwise, start to bring some gentle movement back into your body, starting at your fingers and toes, 
and just letting it expand throughout the rest. As you're ready, draw your knees into your chest, roll to one side or the other, and press yourself up to find a seat. Draw your hands at your heart in Anjali Mudra. And bow your head down towards yourself, acknowledging your effort, your energy, and giving yourself gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you know when new videos are up. And if you know anybody that could use some more yoga in their life, share this video and my channel with them. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.